Opera's next production actually started its journey right here in the bluegrass. Barbara Lynn Jamison is here with more on Enemies, a love story. Good morning. Thanks Good for being morning. here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So let's start off. Tell me a little bit about this production and uh, kind of a little bit of the story. So the story is uh, really about Hermann, who is a Holocaust survivor. He wasn't in the camps, but he comes to the United States uh, with the help of his maid, who helped save him in a haystack. And uh, she's Polish. She's not Jewish. They end up getting married over here. He thinks his wife's dead. A um, little twist, his wife is not actually dead. Uh -oh. but, um, he, she shows up and, and he starts to look at his life through the lives of three women. Um, one, his mit mistress, who he wants to live in the present. His wife from before, where he's kind of pulled by the past and a little guilt. And then, um, and then the, the future, the, what he has to look for in the future. So does he live in the past, the present, or the future? And it's a little bit of a, an Im immigrant story, a refugee story, too. Yeah. I think it kind of pulls at the hearts of all of us to understand the life of a refugee and what they go through when they come to... Uh, through trauma. Absolutely. It sounds like a really interesting story. And we want to talk, like we said, this has a, a tie to Kentucky. Um, kind of explain the, that connection. Yeah. So all operas are not historical. Um, we have a long history, but um, this is a new opera. This is the second time it's ever been performed, the only, the wow. second production. And, but it has its home and its, its birthplace is Kentucky in 2009. It's part of a workshop here. And then it came back in 2011 to workshop some more. Uh, operas have a very uh, long birthing process. It's it had its premiere in um, in Palm Beach, and now it's back home in Kentucky. So it's one of our own. Oh, how cool! And you were saying that this is sort of um, could maybe tell me who this is for, because you said this almost kind of comes off more as a musical when you watch it. Sometimes, yeah. It's uh, we we think of new opera sometimes as very hard to listen to. They're very uh, often very uh, text driven. This one is so melodic. These melodies are stuck in my head. I can't get them out, and it's um, and it's it's very cinematic in how it sounds, and and just very um, very visceral. And I think it's a great story for a first time opera goer who might go, well, I'm not really sure. I want to go see corsets and hoop skirts, mm -hmm. but um, but I, I really love to look at music and theater together. So it's a really good first opera for someone who's just opera curious, not quite sure what about the art form they might like. It, and t and tickets are, are you, they start at twenty dollars. So they're, oh, wow. they're, uh, it's, it's possible to come. So this is something that, if, like you said, if, if you're first to this, if you love opera and have you know, been into this for years, this is something that folks should check out. Yeah, absolutely. And to come to the opera, all you need to do is come. You don't need to worry about what to dress. Dress up if you want. Dress down if you want. Uh, and uh, we've got two performances to choose from. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. And we do want to give folks the details one more time. The Kentucky Opera presents Enemies, a Love Story at the Brown Theater on West Broadway. Performances are Friday, November 9th and Sunday, November 11th. Tickets, like she said, are $20, and you can purchase them by visiting kyopera.org.